Hello, it's me again. I'm Nafid. In this short video, I will explain to you how to upgrade an AP Aruba AP. Three different ways. Now, that AP can be version 10 or version 8. If it is version 10, then we can have the upgrade happening through Central only. So we can set the group compliance or upgrade all um, per site. We're going to show it to you. If that is instant AP, it can be also upgraded using Central or we can do local interface if that is not managed by Aruba Central. Another option, if that AP is managed by uh, Airwave, then that AP can upgrade it by Airwave. Let's have a look. We need to upgrade all access points in Central that are in one group. We will set compliance, and in the compliance, you define the operating system that you would like to go for. In this case, we're going to define 10 Point four point zero point two. That will ensure that all all access points in that group will comply with the same operating system guaranteed. Now that will push the operating system into all of these access points, and it will force um, so it will download the image, will do the upgrade, reboot the APs, and they will become compliant with the exact software version that all of these APs in one group should be access points back online and they are all the same firmware version you can also upgrade all so if you are in the global view and you click on firmware that will take you to either set compliance and that again we've done that but here it will tell you or it will give you the choice that you must set multiple groups for example uh, if you would like to um, or you can upgrade all so this is per site. If you do upgrade all, that's per site, any site. Now, what it is, if you set compliance in a group, that will take over, meaning the upgrade might be successful, but again, it will come back and push the software that is set per the group. So the group will take precedence over the um, global upgrade, if you would like. So for version eight, so earlier, this is now version 8, earlier version 6, we can uh, manage this instant AP using Central, so we can upgrade, downgrade, the same procedure as we have done for version 10, or we can use local interface, now we can see this access point um, is managed locally, and you can see this management here, it says local, so what you can do, you can upgrade the image locally, now you can go to maintenance and you can go firmware. In the firmware, you have two options. You might have downloaded it offline, and um, you can download it online, offline, and then get the image locally, or from uh, some URL, and so on. Or you can check for a version. So in here, they will do the check. They will say, okay, there's a version, upgrade now, off you go. That will push the, the image, download it to the automated. Of course, the access point should have internet access, definitely. And then once the upgrade happens, it comes back online, it will reboot, and then it will be updated as per the uh, firmware that you have downloaded. It says upgrade successful, so the access point will reboot now. You click OK and it starts rebooting. This is back online now. If you go to firmware, you will find the new firmware has been pushed to that AP. On the other hand, if you measure the device using the uh, Airwave, you can always use the airwave to upgrade the device if you would like to so you can highlight normally you will go for the virtual controller that's all what you need so you go to upgrade um, firmware for selected devices you click on upgrade and you should be able to upgrade uh, the device in this video we have explained the firmware upgrade process if, if the access point is managed by Aruba Central, then we do it through Central. If it is managed locally, if it is version 8, then we will do it local interface. Or if it is managed by Airwave. Thank you very much indeed for watching the video and I will see you in future videos.